49 last summer, number 60 this time around. Uh, what's, what's the second camp here for you as you're a bit of a veteran now? Uh, yeah, you know, it's been a good start uh, meeting all the new guys, uh, a lot of new faces. So, uh, you know, the first day is a little awkward getting to know everybody's name. You call a game, call the guy the wrong name. So, uh, you know, he looks at you like, what are you talking to? But, uh, you know, you figure it out sooner or later and the uh, number change is a little different for me. So uh, it's been good so far and looking forward to the rest of the week. The second time around is something like this. Did the nerves kind of go away? Is it a little more relaxing? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. But, you know, if you watch a skate today, I fell three times. So I'm kind of getting it in the room right now. But, um. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I think the uh, nerves, you know, you kind of looked upon as a leader, you know, the second time around and, uh, you know, learning from guys like Nylander and Kapanen last year, you know, kind of, you know, what they went through their second year, you know, you kind of take what, uh, what they talked to you about. I know you know Austin Matthews, but kind of what stands out to you as uh, him being a special player? Well, you know, I think if you look at him, you know, there's a reason he went first overall, you know, his, his drive and, you know, the way he plays the game, it's, it's impressive. And, uh, you know, he's going to have a real big impact, you know, I think very soon. But, um, you know, he's a great player and he's a great guy, and you know, I'm happy to have him in the organization. Did you talk a little bit about what it's like to play against Marner? Because you would have had that experience in um, that. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was cool playing against him. You know, uh, we kind of laugh at each other at the face-off every now and then because, uh, you know, him and I are pretty good friends. So, uh, you know, he got the best of us in the playoffs, which, you know, was kind of unfortunate. But, um, you know, it was kind of cool to play against him. How good was his season last year? Like... Well, I mean, you know, I, I think he swept the MVP race. So, I mean, that pretty much says everything for itself. But, um, you know, he's a, you know, he's a great player. I mean, you know, like I said, you know, going fourth overall, it's, it's impressive. And, you know, for him to do what he did last year, especially in the playoffs, is something special. And you don't see that every year. So, it's pretty impressive. How much have you seen, you know, Matthews progress from when you first witnessed him and to, to today, like when he first overall pick? Yeah, well, uh, you know, from, you know, my first game I played with him, I think, you know, he got really hurt his first game with us. And, uh, you know, watching him grow as a player, you know, playing with him for two years and then, you know, seeing him make the jump to Europe, uh, you know, was pretty special. And, you know, I followed him throughout the year because, you know, we talked and, you know, we wanted to make sure everything, and, you know, once I knew, you know, the Leafs had the first pick, uh, you know, obviously it was a good chance it was going to be him. So I was pretty excited. And, uh, you know, we were texting a little bit about it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's cool to have him here now. Jeremy, I run down the roster. Is this just Ann Arbor North up here, given all the American content we've got, especially after this recent draft? Yeah, you know, it's impressive. I think, you know, you look at Joe Wall, you know, J.D. Greenway. And, you know, even if you look at the draft, you know, a bunch of other teams selected uh, you know, a lot of USA guys from, you know, even my year, we had a lot of younger birthdays, you know, in the Luke Coonins and the Charlie McAvoys of the world. And, uh, you know, it's pretty impressive to watch all those guys get picked. What do you July hope to get? Uh, sorry, July 4th, you know, all of you Americans. Is this just another example of the sacrifices you guys make throughout your life? You always sort of have to miss holidays and family things and birthdays and things like that to play yeah. hockey. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, I think when I was 9 or 10, I'd be up here three weekends in a row and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I think if you look the way USA Hockey direction is going, it's, you know, it's pretty impressive. And if you see the... Uh, you know how the USA team does in the uh, U18 stages and U20 stages over the past, you know, five, ten years. It's definitely in the upward direction for sure. What do you hope to get out of this weekend on and off the ice? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, every time you're here, you know, you can learn. You know, you have a, the upper management here is second to none, you know. And uh, anytime you can learn from a guy like Lou Amarillo or Shanahan or any of the coaching staff, it's, you know, it's, a, it's pretty special and pretty important for, you know, a young guy like myself. What about the off-ice stuff specifically? Uh, um, yeah, you know, I'm... I, you know, every time for me, obviously, getting stronger is going to be a big thing for me to go to the next level. And uh, you know, anytime I can be with you know the strength coach or you know have any insight on that, you know, to take home will be uh, pretty special. Social media training, is that? Involved? Yeah, you know, we uh, we we've done that at the USA program, and uh, you know, I've done that in the, in the uh, past. So it's uh, you know, it comes a little bit easier to myself maybe than other guys, but um, you know, it's it's still something you always work on. How have you progressed over the past year, Jeremy? Well, you know, I think I you know obviously I made some changes as everyone knows you know throughout this year and. Um, you know, I feel like uh, I've, you know, really taken some good steps forward and, you know, becoming the player I want to be and hopefully be here one day. So, uh, you know, I have no regrets in anything I did and I'm, uh, you know, really happy. When you got that new jersey over your head, how does, it, how does it feel? How does it look for you out there? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, uh, it's, you know, 100th year uh, anniversary of the team and uh, that's pretty special. So, uh, you know, the new jersey, it's, it's a beautiful logo and it's something, you know, you really take pride in every day I'm putting on. You got uh, camp for Team USA coming up. Uh, your goal is your goal to make the Leafs your, or your goal to make the Team USA for the World Juniors? Yeah, well, you know, I think my goal just, you know, for the summer is just kind of progress and then I, you know, hopefully if, you know, you keep going strong, keep getting better and stronger every day, you know, those things will come with time. So, uh, you know, I think for me it's just, you know, a day-by-day -day process and it's, uh, you know, something I need to work on.